Good morning and welcome to Daily Morning Prayer. This is for Thursday, July 20... Sorry, July 22nd. That's where we're at. Good. Uh, We are gathered together in the name of the Blessed Trinity. Amen. Our prayer for this morning comes from Julian of Norwich. In you, Father Almighty, we have our perseverance, preservation, and bliss. In you, Christ, we have our restoring and our saving. You are our mother, brother, and savior. In you, our Lord, the Holy Spirit, is marvelous and plenteous grace. You are our clothing. For love, you wrap us and embrace us. You are our maker, our lover, our keeper. Teach us to believe that by your grace all shall be well, and all shall be well, and all manner of things shall be well. Amen. Our quote today comes from Martin Luther. I have held many things in my hands, and I have lost them all. But whatever I have placed in God's hands, I still possess. Our psalm for this morning comes from Psalm 145, verses 10 through 18. All your work shall give thanks to you, O Lord, and all your faithful shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and tell of your power, to make known to all people your mighty deeds and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and your dominion endures throughout all generations. The Lord is faithful in all words and gracious in all deeds. The Lord upholds all who are falling and raises up those who are bowed down. The eyes of all look to you, and you give them their food in due season. You open your hand, satisfying the desire of every living thing. The Lord is just in all ways and kind in all doings. The Lord is near to all who call upon the Lord and to all who call on God in truth. Our Old Testament reading <clears throat> comes from 1 Kings chapter 19, verses 19 through 21. So Elijah set out from there and found Elisha, son of Shaphat, who was plowing. There were twelve yoke of oxen ahead of him, and he was with the twelfth. Elijah passed by him and threw his mantle over him. Elisha left the ox and ran after Elijah and said, Let me kiss my father and my mother, and then I will follow you. Then Elijah said to him, Go back again, for what have I done to you? He returned from following him, took the yoke of oxen, and slaughtered them. Using the equipment from the oxen, he boiled their flesh and gave it to the people, and they ate. Then he set out and followed Elijah and became his servant. Our New Testament reading comes from Colossians chapter 1, verses 9 through 14. For this reason, since the day we heard it, we have not ceased praying for you and asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of God's will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding, so that you may lead lives worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to God as you bear fruit in every good work and as you grow in the knowledge of God. May you be made strong with all the strength that comes from God's glorious power, And may you be prepared to endure everything with patience, while joyfully giving thanks to the Father, who has enabled you to share in the inheritance of the saints in the light. God has rescued us from the power of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of God's beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you, The Lord's face shine on you with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. 